So this afternoon I'm at Overton United Social Club, Football Club, in the Hampshire Premier League. I came to Overton Railway Station, um, the map which I print off every week to get my directions where I'm going, I hadn't really checked, and I come out all smudged, so I actually had no idea when I came out of the station what I was supposed to be doing. So yes, I could have looked at Google Maps, but where's the fun in that? So I just walked. And having gone along a couple of lengthy country lanes, I've rocked up at the village. Um, and here I am, um, easy to find once I found the village. Um, sleepy little place where the ducks seem to outnumber the people. Very pleasant out here indeed. Lovely old church um, on the far side of the pitch we'll have a look at as we go round. Not a ground as such, more of a recreation ground. Well, that's exactly what it is. Um, my second definite maybe third trip to the Hampshire League, I'd need to look it up, but I bumped into the other one I remember which was at Lisp, was also a very picturesque little place, um, becoming a bit of a fan of the Hampshire League. So walking round, no hard standing, the grass is very soft underfoot, it's been raining a lot during the last week where I am, um, so I'm sure it's been the same here. It's completely pliable, there's no doubt about that, but it is soft. So looking back, in fact, let's walk around just a little bit further before we turn back. It's a nice setup for this level. Change room, not sure I'm going to be able to get a cup of tea. Did manage to buy a bag of chips in the town. A couple of mansion houses at the far end there, church to the right. And there we go, just in case anyone's in any doubt. Overton Recreation Centre here in Bridge Street. And for the size of the village it is, um, it's a nice little setup indeed. Set between uh, Whitchurch and Basingstoke. Basingstoke was the station I stopped at before I got here. It's only five minutes or so from there. And looking back again, the recreation ground at the far end. And there's the church. There's benches littered all around the place as we go down here. So I'm doing, doing the drills here. I'm going to take my life in my hands as is usual. Goalkeeper absolutely covered in mud before we've even started. I've just discovered a blue rope but I'm probably supposed to be on the outside of. I'm sure that wasn't there when I started. So uh, there's stanchion things there which are covers for cricket pitch sight screens as well and here's a strip in fact ahead of me cricket strip certainly not cricket weather at the moment been finally enjoying the big bash BT sport I know traditionalists hate it and say it should be test cricket I have to say I absolutely love it great coverage and great entertainment so looking back at the clubhouse over there a few other fans, car park at the far end, fairly full. So we just talked about Lists, they are indeed the away team today against Overton. Reasonable afternoon. It's chilly, but it's not freezing. It's wind, but it's not excessive. Um, Quite frankly, when you get to January, you're just always grateful if you get any game in at all. So pretty happy to have found this here today. Looking back at where we came. Red kite. This is red kite territory. Red kite hovering overhead. Can't think where it was. I was a few weeks ago where there were seven above the pitch at one point. Warm up exercises, three touches, three touches. These players in the modern age, even when they're warming up, have to have an argument. I long for the day to just turn up and watch a game of football. No arguments. Because if there's a mound, I do love a mound. Three benches up there. And another couple there. So, I'm just going to do my uh, Pele bit for the day. Pass this one back onto the um, 
caper from where it came. Never lose it. And so we're here at the uh, car park and that's looking back. Much nearer view at the church. Extremely picturesque. Nice finish. So just walking through um, the car park here. To be honest with you, I've been to an awful lot worse at this level than this little ground. That's looking back at me. Clubhouse from there. Church again, through the trees. But anyway, don't take my word for it. Why don't you come along to Overton United yourself? Uh, I'd love to know what you think. Send me a tweet at YT40. And if you can't get here, if you're too far away, or for any other reason, why don't you go to a non-league club of your choosing, local? Um, either do a video or just send me a tweet and know what you to let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this, then click like. Believe it or not, a couple of people did in the last week. I almost fell off my chair, and why wouldn't you? Um, if you haven't enjoyed it, then click on dislike, because any feedback is better than no feedback at all. If you want these videos to come straight through to your YouTube feed, then click on subscribe, and that's exactly what will happen. And if you click on the little bell, well, I don't know, I mean, it's like Christmas come early, your life will never be the same again, you'll wonder why you didn't do it years ago, amazing things will happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, this is Overton United Football Club.